everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star continuous knowledge excellence my name is nisha mastur in this video we will get to know about nanocellulose now our expert professor mohidar who is associated with national center excellence in agro nanotechnology terry dykan nanotechnology center india he has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research His area of expertise includes nano science and nano technology, nano bio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics, and biophysics. We'll explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. We move to case number one. Okay, now we are on the problem of industrial effluent mitigation problem. Case number one: the target nano material is nano cellulose. cellulose as you know is one of the bio materials that is available in abundance in nature you can get it from plants in plenty so therefore the availability of this material is not a problem at all you can see the chemical structure that is given there it's a polysaccharide but the problem with cellulose is it has got very poor solubility because it has got large hydrophobic domains therefore the hydrophilicity of this material is extremely low that restricts the utility of this material now you see the bottom panel here a cellulose typically is available in nature as a fiber material there is a lot of fibrils you know microscopic fibrils that are combined to form the cellulose and give it the required strength now we magnify the fibrils then you will see that it has got domains of crystalline regions and also domains of amorphous regions they are interspaced mixed in a very heterogeneous manner then idea is to separate the regions one is the crystalline domain other one is the amorphous domain to the extent possible wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks nstc also conducts workshop on amazing topics so if you want to register in the workshop the registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops so just check it out right now and then we nanotize this material then the drawback nanocellulose cellulose was facing earlier can be overcome by this trick so i repeat again cellulose fibrils these are the naturally occurring material this comprise of crystalline regions and also amorphous regions the idea is to separate these regions we have want to have a fibril nano cellulose where we have crystalline zones in plenty and then we want to have a complete amorphous region of cellulose where there will be localized nano crystalline structures but overall it will be more of a amorphous kind of thing so the solubility of this material is going to be more so each of these materials that i am talking about the fibrous material nano fibrous material or nano crystalline material both have got their applications as far as the effluent treatment uh, problem is concerned i hope you liked the video here i would like to give you an important information that nano science and technology consortium organized the nano technology workshops on very interesting topics also i would like to tell you about the initiatives of nstc in which you can also be a part of joint product development research projects consultancy services nano materials for your research projects training programs or customized training programs workshops or customized workshops so that's all if you want to see these type of videos then please do comment we will definitely reach out to you subscribe to the channel knowledge star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected